Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. We are back today and we're gonna be talking about some more of the finals. We have update 2.5.0, which just came out and dropped this morning. We got a full blown set of patch notes to go over. They are pretty short, but we do have some new store updates and some changes to the game, specifically balance changes, which I'm really excited for. A couple new things that could shake up the meta, maybe make for some interesting gadget choices, maybe even some new weapon choices. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A like rating is always appreciated. It helps the video reach new people and subscribe if you wanna know everything new that's gonna be coming in the future. So we're gonna get into this. So yeah, here we are, update 2.5.0. We did get a little shop update. They got a couple of cool items. You got this little, I don't even know what you would call this, the monster head or like the possessed, not the possessed, this is the fish head, I guess you could call it. They do have a couple of really cool AK animations as well. I'll play it through like really slowly here, but this is like one of the reloads that we saw in the battle pass for the FAMAS and the F car and stuff like that. But outside of that, we also got other animations that are in game as well. Like a couple ones for when you pull out the gun, like you constantly cock it back and stuff like that. It's it's really, really cool. I think there's like in total four new animations in the, in the pack, but they also got a new pistol skin. This is a legendary skin. I'm sure it's gonna have some crazy animations if you were to purchase this. Uh, it has like a, a motherboard suppressor, whatever the heck you wanna call it. it. It looks really neat. And yeah, the monster head, bro. The monster head is goals, man. I I, <laughs> I kind of like it. It's it's honestly hard not to buy things, but I've been refraining. I've been I've been trying to hold back my wall a little bit more. I, I get kind of splurgy on cosmetics. But yeah, that's all the skins. But we're gonna get into the actual patch notes here. Uh, today we're bringing you an update with some balance changes and dev comments on future changes to both stun gun and the cloaking device. Cloaking device gets addressed in this update. Stun gun, they did say it is not quite fine tuned to where they want it to be at yet, but in 2.6, which will be next week's update, we can expect to see stun gun changes. So that's pretty dope. Uh, also the community challenge, which some people didn't even know we were doing, but there has been a massive community challenge going on and we did hit the goal. So we've unlocked like an anime themed boom box that you could carry on the back of your pants. Like it's kind of like the stuff that hangs behind you. Anime, anime boom box. That's a big W. Um, and they said, you also may have noticed that the uh, IDs have officially all been switched over to Embark IDs. If you've already changed your Embark ID to what your actual gamer tag is or whatever, you don't really got to worry about this. Mine still says staycation because I changed my Embark ID. Um, but yeah, that's that's all that. But getting into the balance changes now, data reshaper has been adjusted. This is the new gadget that came on the medium class in season two. Uh, it's probably been the most underutilized new gadget or feature, or just really piece of equipment that was added to the game as of season two. The heavy shotgun was pretty decent. The FAMAS has been good. The light pistol, not too many people are a fan of, but uh, I would say the gravity lift on the heavy class gets a lot of usage, like a ton. But the data reshaper was just unsung, man. Like nobody used this thing. My friend Razor, he actually gave it a decent shot at like really trying to main it and gave it some time. And he said he found some success with it, but I think like if you just compare it to some of the other gadgets, like this is a whole gadget slot you're replacing. You know what I mean? Like there's so many pieces of good utility in this game. It's gonna take a lot for the data reshaper to be strong. And so they've increased the range on it from only five meters up to 15 meters. So 15 meters away from something, you can change whatever you're looking at. So if you see a turret 15 meters away, boom, you can turn it into a plant pot. Same with mines, this will make like pushing cache sites really, really consistent. If you're jump padding up to the top of construction in the middle of Seoul, you could probably data reshape before you even hit the floor from far away on the cache site. So this will be really interesting. I'll have to do a lot of testing and actually play with it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna sink my teeth into this gadget now and see how it plays out. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of it at first impressions, um, just reading the buff. And they've also adjusted the target FOV. They decreased it from 25 degrees in terms of what you're gonna to change to only 12 degrees. And I think this is to account for a more precise activation from far away. Like if you're looking far away, you don't want it to activate everything under the sun. You wanna make sure you're changing specifically what you're looking at. Moving on, we do got the stun gun once again. I already said that they don't have any changes planned just yet, but for 2.6, they should be ready to go. And we can expect that most likely next Wednesday. So a week from today. Uh, moving on though, we also got a specialization change for the cloaking device. I think a lot of people are gonna be really excited to see this one. Cloak has been honestly the strongest specialization on light since 
the start of this game even existing. Like, L L Cloak has always just been so good. And so they've increased the activation cost from 14.2% up to 33%. So every single time you activate this thing, 33%, which is a pretty big chunk. This is gonna like stop Cloakers from going in and out of their activation period uh, too frequently. I think that's really what's so broken about it is just how much it can be used and spammed at different times. It's like it's like there's no penalty to actually activating the, uh, the cloak. And so people are able to get in and out way too frequently, way too many times. And so it's gotta be used a lot more intentionally. They did say this does not change the maximum sustained time, uh, but it makes drain it makes it drain faster when toggling it on and off too frequently. So um, yeah, you still have a decent amount of cloak. You just have to use it smarter now. And yeah, make sure you're using it when you know it's going to be effective. Otherwise you're gonna lose half of it. Moving on as well, we also got a mesh shield change. They decreased the health from 1000 to 750. Uh, this, is, this is good, honestly. I think a thousand health like if you have all three of your teammates start pounding away at a mesh shield, uh, it, it's it can burden a lot of damage, man. And so I think any specialization in this game, like I get it's a shield, I get it's supposed to be able to protect you from bullets, but I think if a full team makes the conscious effort to be like, shoot that shield, it should just go away. And I think 750 damage is gonna help us achieve that. Moving on to the weapons though, we also have uh, only one weapon that got buffed. Um, it's a very minor buff, but the KS, 23 this is the shotgun uh, the new shotgun that got added to the heavy class in season two a uh, bullet dispersion reduced when jumping sprinting or zoomed in to make the weapon more accurate i do like that they said when zoomed in because i i didn't know like if there was an accuracy a little bit of dispersion still um i knew it was fairly accurate but i more so thought it was like you having to lead your shot i mean which you still probably got to do um, but yeah, hopefully this weapon just feels a lot better because I, I do like the gun a lot I've given it so much time and effort I love the destruction capabilities built into it and maybe this consistency will entice me to play heavy more The weapons at the end of the day are what make me want to play a class and I mean, yeah, this is this is good And to finish it off, we also have a little bit of a security update AFK and idle rule enhancements I don't really know what exactly this entails, but maybe there's less harsh rules on you know afk penalties like if you're gonna go to the bathroom and it just so happens to be a number two you're not gonna get kicked you just <laughs> you'll wait it out and they also added detections for software such as cheat tools and injectors leading to suspensions we love to see that i just played last night and i ran into like two cheaters it's not a good time i get really salty when i run into cheaters it completely kills the experience and that is it for the patch notes. It was like I said, it was a very short set of patch notes, not a ton of changes, but you know, nice new store update, some new balance changes for some gadgets and weapons, and I'm excited to try everything out. So let me know what you guys think of everything that you guys saw in the patch notes down in the comment section below. I'm always excited to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. I do stream every day live on Twitch as well. Link to that will be in the description. I hope to see you guys over there. I'll be streaming later on today. We'll be playing some more of the finals. Have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Keep up, stay up, peace out.